have been around the Astro organization, like I've been around a lot the last four years. Jim Crane knows everything that's going on. He is the mastermind. You told he, us a story about him coming to talk to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jim Crane, I think I've told the story in the air before. When they were in the middle of their tank, David Cohn and I were doing a game, Yankees-Astros at Yankee Stadium. And we talked about the tank or whatever. And the next day, Jim Crane comes into our booth at Yankee Stadium. That's not his stadium. Into our Yes Network booth with his PR guy with a list that he had typed out of things that he said that we had wrong. And we were polite. This is an owner of a team. You know, you're not going to be nasty to him. And we thanked him for coming in and clarifying things. And then David and I looked at each other. You know, forget about, like, talking to me. He's talking to a five-time world champion and David, like he's scolding us. And then the next day he comes in again and said, well, this, uh, you, you guys kind of clarified something, but you still got it wrong. At which point David said, well, th thank you for the advice. You know, we're, we're, we're going to move forward the way we want in the best way that David could do it. Jim Crane is the mastermind of the Astros. The entire um, specter of, of uncomfortable, uh, uncomfortableness and, and, um, and paranoia and cockiness, it comes from Jim Crane. Jim Crane is a guy who walks on the field like a peacock. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but you know he's the owner of the team. He would strut on the field during the postseason, he and Jeff Luno, and... You knew who the owner was. To say that he had no idea what was going on with his team, that was totally clueless. I also think right. that Manfred said, I don't want to pick a fight with an owner. That's one I can't win. Let's, get, hey. let's make $5 million. I can't do more under the Constitution. I, I mean, what Adam Silver did forcing Donald Sterling to sell the team, I don't think that Manfred can do that. And I'm not saying that this warranted that. But I think there's certain ways that you have to go about things. Do what you can do. Manfred did what he can do. He went after GMs and managers who have no unions backing them up. Still unfair, but I understand it. It would be kind of similar, Michael, what you're saying with Crane. If this scandal was happening with the Yankees in the 90s and saying George didn't know. One of the most hands-on owners you've ever seen not knowing. And, and you know, in the, in the report, Rob wrote, you know, he's busy with the business aspect of it. Come on. I'm not saying that he knew every single, that there were literally signs that were being given out and how they were being given out. But he knew exactly what was going on when the first reaction of the Astro organization was that the woman who claimed that the assistant GM shouted that at her. The first reaction of the Astro organization, this has to go all the way up to the owner. It's not true. They called her a liar. They made victim shaming. And then they finally had to come clean because the, there were witnesses. That's from Jim Crane. So to say that Jim Crane is totally clean in this, I'm not quite sure that I could buy that. I'm just not. I'm not saying that he should go down, but the, the report totally exonerated him, and I think that that was unfair, too.